evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we're not only going to be explaining to you guys how to link summon and all of the mechanics behind it, we're going to be showing you some really awesome combos. Yes, a couple of these decks are still very broken, and a couple of cards have become extremely powerful. Now, this is not throughout my own doing. I have to thank Gabriel Sombermore. I'm pretty sure that's how he says his name. I'm bad with enunciations, but this is all of his work um, just showing us the combos. I am just a catalyst to show you guys and explain to you what is going on. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. And as you guys can see, uh, he's going to special summon the Terra Top and he's gonna start off with the normal zoo combo. So the Terra Top to the Taco board. Now I'm gonna stop right here just to explain a couple of key things. Those blue extra monster zones above that you guys see are zones that are to either player. So any given time, uh, when you would exceed synchro or fusion you would summon a monster in the extra monster zone as opposed to the regular monster card zone you can only summon monsters or uh, you can only fusion exceed or synchro into the extra monster zone now as i would say rules are meant to be broken and you guys are going to see wow i'm going to go ahead and start it and as you can see he's going to make the x saber invoker He's going to detach one material to special summon Zodiac wrapped here from his deck to his side of the field. Next, he's going to uh, normal summon. The most important part to the combo is Reborn Tengu. Probably one of the most broken cards right now as it's going. And now he's going to perform something called a Link Summoning, sending the Reborn Tengu and the X Saber Invoker from his field to the graveyard. The Link monster is placed in the extra monster zone, and since he was getting rid of a monster from his extra zone, he can do it. Now, here is the awesome thing. After he summons Reborn Tangle, let me pause real quick. The awesome thing is that wherever the arrows are pointing, that's where you'll be able to special summon a monster from your extra deck, whether it be Fusion, Synchro, Exceed, or Link to your side of the field. As you can see, the arrow is pointing down. That is the only important arrow, and that's where he'll be able to special summon again from his deck. To go ahead and play it, he's going to summon it, and now he's going to use the Wrapped here to make the Barbo, to make the Target Mortar, and now he's just going to go through his regular Zodiac combos because there's nothing really else to say. And now the Broad Bull, the Broad Bull is going to search, and then he's going to make another X he play for the Dryden. Now here's where things get tricky. There are two ways to link summon. You can either send the appropriate materials to the graveyard, which would be three monsters, or, or two monsters for the link to summon, or you can send a link monster plus additional monsters to fulfill the requirements. So this time around, to make a link three summon, he's gonna use one link two monster because it would count as two monsters, as well as an additional monster to summon from his extra deck. So he's gonna see in the link two monster in the reborn tangle. Reborn tangle's effect is gonna activate again to replace itself. And now we're going to pause it again. As you guys can see, there are multiple arrows pointing diagonally to your side of the board or his side of the board that will allow him to make additional exceed and synchro or fusion plays as well as link plays. Now, what is it uh, directed is that there is an arrow pointing upward. The diagonal arrow is pointing to the opponent's side of the field. So yes, in that designated spot, the opponent would be able to fusion, synchro, link, or uh, uh exceed summon to his side of the field so continuing on with the video he's gonna go ahead and activate Dagusta Emerald to draw a card and he rips the nuts it's gonna be the instant fusion he's gonna summon the zodiac thoroughblade and now he's gonna link to summon a link monster to his side of the field now when link monsters enter the playing field he can continue to, to spe special summon monsters from the extra deck depending on when the arrows are as you guys can see, the only two applicable arrows this side are from side to side. So Instant Fusion becomes a Norden target. And then Norden special summons a monster. And now he's going to use that to make an additional XC play to his side of the field. That is essentially uh, Link summoning in a nutshell. It's summoning with additional steps. A lot of people say that the Burning Abyss strategy is completely dead. I beg to differ. The reasoning behind it is if you link summon, your monster's not a Burning Abyss monster, and all your Burning Abyss monsters die. Well, that's kind of true. This time around, he's going to be summoning into a Dante, milling three cards from the top of his deck to the graveyard. Now, out of all the godly mills, he mills the Graph. You don't really need anything else. That's going to special summon the Seer, and now he's going to link to summoning, sending the Dante and the Seer to his graveyard. That's going to special summon his Link 2 monster, and that's going to allow him to special summon the Dante through the Seer, and then the Dante's effect is going to add the Seer to his side, to his hand. Now the tour guide is going to be summoned to special summon a level 3 monsters from his deck. And congratulations, he's going to link summon again, sending the Dante. Like I said, people say that this deck is dead. I think the opposite, because Dante's effect will activate again. And now he can link summon diagonally. 
I'm telling you guys, Link Summoning is Special Summoning from the deck with extra steps, nothing more else to it. So he's going to go ahead and overlay into the Beatrice on top of that, and that's how you Link Summon with Burning Abyss. This time around, we're going to be showing what Links do, uh, or what Links will bring to the table to make decks even more busted than what they were. Cosmos are a deck that have pretty much fallen out of grace, and Link Summoning not only allows them to do extra combos, it allows them to still be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So this time around, he's going through the regular uh, Straw Man, Fire King, Island combo, Special Summoning, uh, Delta Shadow, and Slip Rider. Then Slip Rider destroying the Fire King Island, Special Summoning two copies of Sword Troopers. And normally, you guys would think, oh, make the Sword Trooper do nothing, you know, all that other stuff. Link Summoning doesn't stop anything. Straw Man's going to Special Summon the Delta Shadow again. And then he's going to send cards from the graveyard, and it's just going to go off again. It's not really much else. Just when you guys thought it was over, he's going to use both sword troopers to make a levier levier to special summon from his extra deck and then i'm pretty sure he's gonna link summon after that to allow him to continue to go into his extra deck again after straw man brings the slip rider so levier and the both straw mans go to the graveyard so he can make his link monster and then he can actually go ahead with his extra deck summon so like i said link summoning doesn't really stop much it actually just makes an extra step i think rick and morty did say it the best again um the last video I'm going to show you is a bit controversial, mainly because we're not necessarily sure if you can send Pendulum Monsters uh, to the extra deck to Link Summon. It does say to the graveyard, and if I were to rule it, it would be no, because the exact same reason why you wouldn't be able to summon Ultimate Azokan to your side of the field, the monsters would have to be sent to the graveyard. But until we get an official ruling, we're going to just consider that you can. This time around, we're going to show you how Metal Foes are still busted to the brink even with uh, Link Summoning requiring them to make extra steps. So he's going to go ahead and make his Link Summon, Pendulum Summon, and then do the extra steps of the Zodiac combo. So the Barrage is going to Special Summon the Rat Pier, and then the Rat Pier is going to overlay the Barbo, and then, you know, all the other stuff that actually entails with that. And now he's going to have a Dryden Kirin on his side of the field, so it doesn't really matter, with the ability to make another extra deck play. Um, essentially, like I said, uh, being able link summoning doesn't necessarily hurt the game. It just makes the game a lot more complicated There are going to be some really interesting cards that will be played with link summoning um, And essentially like I said uh, the diagonal part does add a little more intricacy inside of it He's gonna be setting the metal foes counter and that's pretty much it for the people that are complaining about Synchros not being able to be played first of all. I feel you I, I completely I understand I'm on your side, all right? I like Synchros. It's one of my favorite uh, concepts of the game. That's another reason why we're playing GQ format. Secondly, uh, Synchros are a bit... They're good, and it, this doesn't even really stop them because now they just have more toys to play with, and you have to keep in mind that the opponent is limited too, so it's not like you're just limited. So, I don't know. I, personally, I feel like maybe Konomi should have just banned the cards that they should have banned or limited the cards to make it a more balanced format. But again, that's why we play EQ. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what can still be done. Um, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys have uh, got a well explanation on being able, on Link Summoning and how to use Link Summoning to your advantage. Keep in mind, um, every monster in, or monsters that are fusion summon xe summon or synchro summon or link summon must first be in your extra card zone then afterwards if you guys have a link in your extra card zone or in your monster zone wherever the links are pointing to that's where you can special summon again from your extra deck it's really just extra steps thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna finish it off and then please like comment subscribe but most of all enjoy